Hello guys and welcome to a quick little speed paint or speed art or something. Um, today I started my seventh sketchbook and I'm using the Han Mule Cappuccino book and I just thought I would record me filling out the first page. Uh, I didn't want to do anything too serious with this, I mainly just wanted to do a fun quick little illustration. Um, so I grabbed some reference material together, which is why I'm not doing anything in this bit, and uh, basically D&D &D stuff, because I wanted to do some owl bears and stuff. So I got some D&D &D reference material together, and I like lined up this little box, and I just started sketching. Um, the pencil I'm using is a Zebra Delgard pencil, if anyone wants to know. I swear by this pencil currently. Um, so yeah, I started off drawing this big sort of bean figure in the top left and a little bean in the bottom right. Uh, these are going to be my two owl bear creatures. The one on the bottom right is uh, not a, like an actual owl bear, but anyway. Um, it's a species of owl bear, I guess, um, from Humblewood, which is a D and D like expansion world thingamajig I, I don't know how to explain it but basically they're like tiny little owl bears and they have they like wear armor and stuff so i wanted to do the comparison between a big owl bear and a little owl bear um i go back and forth between the little one and the big one quite a lot because i'm having troubles with the big one as you can see i end up erasing a lot of stuff um I wasn't happy with his expression, he just didn't look angry enough. I feel like with this drawing I didn't really put too much thought into it, so there's not much force or movement or expression in the piece. I, d I mainly just wanted to do this for fun, I've never done an actual traditional speed art before, so I wasn't paying too much attention to <laughs> like the actual skill part of things I guess. Um, so yeah, the cappuccino book is a tan coloured sketchbook which you can't really see on the footage because I had this blinding white light just glaring down on the paper so I didn't cause any shadows or bad shadows. Um, but it is like a nice sort of tan colour and it's 120 GSM or 55 pounds weight for paper so it's quite thick but not too thick. and. I don't know, it's my first time trying a Han Mule sketchbook and I really like the texture of the paper though it is quite smudgy, which is one of my pet peeves about sketchbooks is when the paper causes a lot of smudging, which I don't really have with moleskins, which is what I've been using previously, but hey ho, what can you do? So at this point I was giving him some armour, I decided to go for sort of pointy helmet antenna as if he had like little feathers sticking out of his forehead but it was actually just the armor uh, i gave him a little kite shield just because i felt like that's what little owl bears would use instead of a round shield they'd probably use a kite shape don't know why and then i decided to give him a little spear because i imagine owl bears are probably quite primitive so I just decided to go for a spear weapon. Uh, I also changed the beak shape to make it a bit smaller so he was a little cuter just to make the difference between the big owlbear and the little owlbear a little bit more drastic. <laughs> I don't really have much else to say. <laughs> I take my time with this despite not taking that long. I think this took me an hour altogether. Um, I decided in giving, instead of giving him like full blown armour, I would just give him a chest piece that would cover his front and then some trousers and a little belt. Um, and at this point I go in with like some grass to give them a little bit of weight and to show that they're actually standing on something and then I go back in with some details on the armour. Uh, and then... As you can see, I'm continuing with the background. I'm not very good with backgrounds, landscapes, environments, that sort of thing, so I kind of just went simple with some trees, 
very loosely sketched out some like weird vines hanging from the branches and just some random bushes. Uh, I also gave the owl bear teeth. I don't know if they have teeth. I just went for it. I wanted to make him look a little bit more sinister, so. I went back in to the trees, as you can see here. It's not a very big or long drawing. It's not very detailed, so I can't really talk too much about it, but... Uh, I would go into more depth about the races, but honestly, I don't really know much about them because I haven't played too much D&D and I definitely haven't encountered any owlbears in my life. Uh, but at this point, I decided to go in and ink it because I was pretty much done with the sketch. I am using a... oh gosh, what was I using? I'm using a uni pin fine liner. So it's a Mitsubishi Pencil Corporation uh, brand. Gosh, I cannot English today. And this is a brush pen. So it's like got sort of a hard plastic nib, but it's bendable so you can get different line weights with it, as you can see that I'm doing in the actual drawing here. I'm trying to create a sense of shadow without like wanting to paint the shadows. So what I did was I imagined that the giant loom bear loom bear oh my goodness the giant owl bear looming over the little one would probably create a shadow so the thicker lines to show shadow are on the left where the owl bear is and then the lighter lines are on the right of the little creature just to show that there's a light over there um i like using this brush pen honestly it's very easy to just make quick little cartoony backgrounds of as well because you can just flick the pen up because it's a brush and then like your grass is done it's pretty cool uh i have tried a pentel brush pen before but i honestly felt like the actual brush bristles were just too smooth it was very difficult to control and i just couldn't use it very well and also the flow wasn't that <laughs> that good i know it's not meant to be but I just, I couldn't get on with it, but I do very much like the stiffer brush nib of this uni pin pen. I think I've been using it for a lot of my drawings recently. My parents bought me like a pack of them so I could just have loads lying around. Uh, it was at this point that I realised I should probably not make the background as like the same line went, uh, line width or length. Oh my god, strength! What is English? I shouldn't make it the same line strength as the foreground characters because they would blend in a little bit too much. So I tried to go a little bit lighter on the background trees here. But of course I made the shadow area lines a little bit thicker, so... I kind of created the sense of distance that I wanted, but I wasn't fully happy with it, so um, originally this was just going to be a fine liner pen drawing and that was it, but I decided after adding a few more shaded lines here and there that it wasn't quite good enough and I was going to get out my ink. Uh, oh gosh, here we go. The ink that I'm using, this was recommended to me by someone who was a friend of mine, we were doing Inktober and I tried using a Winsor & Newton ink and it just wasn't working for me so she recommended Jackson's Indian ink. There's like a huge bottle of it, it's a 150 milliliters for about eight pounds. Um, but I started using that at some point soon after I filled in the background with pure black. I probably could have just Instead of wasting the ink of my pen, just use the actual ink in the bottle that I've planned on using soon. But I like to make things hard on myself, so I just went in with actual pen. <laughs> One nightmare. I just, I really like to make jobs take longer. I really do. So, um, yeah, I wanted to, like, create a darker background just so the lighter characters would stand out a bit more. So I just blocked in the very back of the painting, it's not a painting, the very back of the piece, pitch black. 
And then at this point I also realised, oh, I did the line weights of the trees and I didn't really have to bother with that because it's gonna be black either side of it anyway. I'm just, uh, I wasn't having a good time really, I just felt very dumb at this point. Okay, so I'm just about to finish the black of the background, and this is where I go in with my Indian ink. I got this- <laughs> I didn't really have a palette on hand, so I got the top of a water bottle and decided to start putting the ink in that, because you gotta make do with what you have. You don't need expensive supplies to be able to make art, so <laughs> you just use a bottle cap. Um, but yeah, I go in with like a sort of a light grey colour, which actually looks brown on this tanned paper. And I just did a quick wash over everything just to like... <laughs> so I kind of separate it from the characters. And then I thought, this isn't really dark enough, so I went in with a little bit of a darker colour. And I think I go in even darker later on. The whole point of sketching the box was to keep everything inside the lines, and as you can see, I go out of them like crazy. I completely forgot of my restrictions. And then I realised I don't know if me painting over the background with this ink is gonna make my pen a different colour, so I had to paint over it the entire thing. I don't know. It was a nightmare. Um, and then at this point I use my Jevy Roll in the colour Sakura? Or is that the brand? I don't know. White Jelly Roll pen. And I just go in to add some highlights and stuff just to make these front characters pop a little bit more. Honestly, this isn't the best white gel pen you can get, but it's the only one I have, so... I decide for this big owlbear, I'm just going to make his entire beak pure white because I don't want to do too much highlights on him because he's meant to be casting a shadow, so I just thought I'd make parts of his body pure white. Just make him contrast and stand out a little bit more. Yeah, anyway, this is basically it. <laughs> the very first page of my sketchbook. It wasn't great, but I had fun doing it. 